This video will look at adding categories and grade items to your gradebook from the gradebook itself. If you're looking for more information about adding grade items from particular content items like assignments, quizzes, and discussions, you'll want to check the modules that discuss adding those specific content items and adding grade items from those particular items will be discussed there. So from when, within the gradebook, once I've set up my gradebook, I can go ahead and add my categories first. So to add categories, I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to click on Category. So we'll just create a new category here for exams. And a few options here. There is an option here for Can Exceed. You'll want to choose this option if you're going to have any extra credit in this category at all. Um, otherwise, the extra credit is not going to count towards the overall grade. So you want to make sure this is included um, if you're going to have any sort of extra credit. There is an option to exclude this category from final grade calculation. Um, obviously, for an exams category, that would probably not be used. But if you do have a category of things like compliance exams where students have to do them, but they're not part of the final grade, that might be a great way to exclude everything in a particular category. Um, there is a distribution option in here too, and this is, um, I'm in a points-based gradebook right now. I will demonstrate this as well for a uh, weighted gradebook. But uh, for a points-based gradebook, there is a distribution option here. Uh, this will allow you to, if you're going to drop the lowest um, or keep the highest, um, but we see this most commonly if student instructors are going to maybe like drop the lowest exam. Now note in order to do that, all of your exams or all the items in this category all have to be worth the same number of points. And then I'm going to say I'm going to drop the lowest non-bonus item, meaning non-extra credit item. Um, I can also drop the highest if I want to as well. And so I'm going to actually uncheck that box. I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right, um, now I'm going to flip this over to a weighted gradebook and demonstrate what this adding of a category looks like for a weighted gradebook. Okay, so I'm now in a weighted gradebook. So now when I come into this exams category that I just created, I'm going to click on the arrow there and I'm going to click on edit grade item. And this is going to show me that same settings interface, but again, here we're looking at a weighted situation. So I can set the weight here. I'm going to go ahead and set the weight, say, for 50%. Um, there's another one here, allow category grade to exceed category weight. Again, if you have any extra credit that's going to be in this category, you're going to want to make sure that box is checked. The second item here, this is how items are weighted within your category. You're definitely going to want to make sure the second box is checked. If the first box is checked, then you have to manually assign the weights for each item. So by choosing the second option, Talon will automatically calculate the weights of specific assignments or items within this category and uh, weight them accordingly based on their point value. Um, again here if you are planning to drop the lowest exam or drop the highest exam you'll do you will want to choose this last option um, and that'll make everything in the category weighted equally um, and also drop the lowest. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the second setting set. And I'm going to save and close. Okay, so I'm going to create a new grade item here in a weighted gradebook setting. So I'm going to click on New and I'm going to click on Item this time. And I have several options here of different grade items. Um, in general, you're probably going to choose the numeric grade item because that's where you're just going to enter a number of points for a particular grade item. But you do have a few other options. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just click a numeric grade item. And I'll call this grade item cat in class discussion. And I'm going to put it in a category. Put it in the, this one. Set the number of points and set the weight. Um, again, I am in a weighted gradebook here, so it's going to ask me for points and weight. Um, I can say, can I exceed? This means, can I give students, say, if it's worth 10 points, can I give them 11 out of 10? And bonus would make this extra credit. I'm going to just leave those be, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Close. 
and this is going to put that within my assignment category here. Notice there's this column here for association and this one has no association. That means I did not create this through course content. It's not tied to anything in course content. This is just a manually created option. So I'm going to flip back to points mode and I'll show you what this grade item looks like in points mode. Okay, I'm now back in points mode, so I can come here to this cat in class discussion. I'll notice that column for weights is gone here. I'm going to come back to this cat in class discussion. I'm going to click on where it says edit grade item. And I'm going to see here pretty much the same options. Um, I have the option to put it in a category. I have the number of points. I have the can exceed and the bonus. Notice I don't have that column for weighted now and I have the option to exclude from final grade calculation. Now one thing here that I didn't show before that's worth showing is I can actually select the different grade scheme for individual assignments. So if there's some particular assignments where I want students to see the letter grade, I can choose that, or maybe there's some assignments I only want them to see just the percentage. So I can actually choose this on an individual assignment basis or a category basis. I can add rubrics to specific grade items as well. And then I can also override the display options. So by default, students in this class are seeing the points, the grade scheme symbol, and the grade scheme color. Um, and I'm seeing the grade scheme symbol and the grade scheme color. And I can actually override those settings and customize this on a grade item basis. So we'll go ahead and save and close that.